Steve, for 25 minutes, everything looked so good, but uh, what went wrong? Well, we just got a little bit complacent, didn't we? Had a lot complacent. I think there's, they get the goal completely against their on a play to, to bring themselves back in the game. We started on the front foot. I think we're very comfortable at half time. I think we're comfortable at the start of the second half. There's, there's no issues in the game. I think it's a big decision in the game. I think their boy Evans, who is a really good player, scores a great goal, makes one, should be off. He should simply be off. He's committed a, a, a number of fouls, but one particular there on the edge of their box. Um, they get the goal because we, you know, central defensively, we let a really good striker get across and score a goal. And then the third goal was it. It's a great strike, but, you know, it's fair to say second half, we were we were way off the pace, whether it was just a shock of them getting goals because they were just simply not in the game. Sometimes we say... You're not working the keeper, though. He's made four or five really good saves tonight. Yeah, but we've missed four or five big chances, haven't we? You know, probably a couple more on top of that. With the total dominance, I think the stats are they've been in our box six times in the game. But the reality is they scored three goals. One's a great strike, and sometimes you can say, should we close them down quicker and should we stop that movement? Will he, will he get the opportunity to pull the trigger? Yes, we should, but he puts it probably with no goalkeeper in the world, saves it. Um, it's the other two goals that I'm more disappointed with sending someone in the inside and he finds it's a good finish from the boy Thomas as well into the far corner mm. um, and the second goal where central defensively we, we shouldn't let Chris Martin across the near post but we do Some good passages of play in that first half couldn't replicate it in the second No we didn't we were very bright first half we said it and um, you know but we've I don't know whether it's a, a little chink in the chain where you we're so far on commander games, do we do we take a foot off that a little bit? And we've not put the game to bed. I think we all know that if we were unlucky not to be 3 0 up instead of 2 1 at half time. So maybe even more. But we, we don't take those chances. And when it goes 2 1 and 2 2, the momentum goes with the team that's come from 2 0 down. That's in every game of football. And, and it's it's a stunning goal. But listen, everyone races off. But they, they've done that at the start of the season, did it last season. We'll regroup, we'll try and learn from it. And we'll go to Derby and, and for me, take on the, you know, one of the two best teams in the league, them and Pompey. For once, the substitutes couldn't really affect it. No, they had opportunities to affect it for sure. Um, I thought they gave us a lot of spark at times and a little bit of um, a poor play at times, but they weren't alone. I think second half, we were a, a little bit discharged rather than fully charged. One point from nine now, Steve. Oh, no. It's uh, listen. We all know we should beat Reading. We all know we should win at Port Vale. All by an atrocious decision. There's no excuses tonight. We're the total command of the game. We should be sitting here with nine from nine, but we've we've got one from nine. And the ramifications of that, we we drop outside that top group. So that's the reality of it. And we, if we think we've been in a run of games, the, this run of games, Reading here, Port Vale away, and Bristol Rovers here, we should win. Simple as that. We should expect to win. Thanks, Steve.